two. Get your cart. One. Both mics fade up. Tonight on Cape News 58, the powerful senior lobby huddles on Cape Cod. Stand camera one and two shot. And out on the west coast, it's game number three for the Red Sox. Dissolve camera one. Good Super. evening, I'm Nina Miller. And I'm Greg Bush. Our top story tonight, two more... Lose it, stand by two effects, ten. ...of conspiracy to violate narcotic laws after a drug bust Friday. State police officials say the arrest took place off the... Born Rotary and followed a lengthy investigation. 28-year-old James Flynn and 28-year-old Ronald Braun were arraigned today in Barnstable District Court. Officials Lose it. From Attorney General Tagging two effects, 10. Stand by side. Tagging two effects, 10 with a change to generic, 99.80. And the drug buy was worth thousands two, of dollars. One. Sound up. State police officers had 50 pounds Super Kevin Cunningham. they had received from the state Lose police it. evidence locker. Uh, I'll cue 82,000 cash, tagging two effects 10 with a change to 99.80. These two individuals to Tag sell two. to them the 50 pounds of marijuana in return. Open Nina's mic. to the trooper, $82,000 cash. Take two. Ron and Flynn are due back. Same by the change effects. Next door is a reader. And Wareham police cracked down on two men who allegedly possessed marijuana and opium with intent to distribute. 30-year-old James Thomas of Milford and 30-year-old Matthew Fountain of Bellingham were arraigned today in 4th District Court on those charges. Change effects. If you need to register to vote in the general election November Can you squeeze 6th, it, Chris? tonight is the cutoff date. Town halls are stand by Cape audio, open, so stand by FS2 audio. To accommodate Cape residents. Open Lord live audio, squeeze. Live at Barnstable Town Hall with this stand by live effects, take live straight. Nina, if those Super Ionis live, you have that? Voter turnout for the general election Super. Right in the town of Barnstable should be pretty high. Lose it. So far, the Super town Lori live. 200 people just today alone. One very important Just give me live, uh, uh, Lori then. or disabled and you can not get to your local town Lose it. to register Mike's cold. Vote. Mike's cold. You cannot register by coming back in the effects afterwards. Linda Lappinen, the from the town clerk's office. And then Linda, at um, the late day, how Nina's coming out in the effects, and then Nina's the next Unfortunately, read. Unfortunately, they cannot vote for this, register for this election, but we will help them at any time. They Super. need to call the town clerk's office in whatever town they are Lose living it. in. Zoom in. Tonight. Take you live effects. To go to any town hall on the Cape and Open our mic. You may have to wait in line a little bit, but a lot of people Smile. say it's worth the wait. Live from town Open Nina's mic. I'm Lori Sollinger. Back to you, Greg and Nina. Extend camera okay, two. Thank you, Lori. The state secretary of human services. Stand by VTR two. This is a sock. In the departments of mental health and retardation. The cuts amount to some 1,500 people that will be laid off beginning November 4th. Here on the Cape, as many as 12 full and part-time positions will be eliminated. That says area officials will put Roll two. burden on burden Sound in. Staff. Take it. Because they are Super Elaine Elias. Oh, you had to happen. Coming back, camera one and two shot. Lose it. Short with We're Live squeezing time. camera four for the tease. Squeezing camera four for the tease. Uh, Stand by, Mojo. A voice tone change, etc. Uh, the, these clients, therefore, if they come back, camera one or two shot. Come back, camera one or two shot. Involved with, become. Stand by, you, cut. Feel that they've been on both mics. All this plays out into a person perhaps experiencing Mike's a crisis hot. that need not have had to happen. Take camera one. Hit your cut. Yeah, so ahead tonight, retirees go to work on issues. Stand by, camera of four. And protecting Open news mic. In our taking care of business Dissolve report. camera four. I'm Stephen Maloney and don't squeeze forward over business disputes. Super reveal. Tonight we'll see how you can Five, mediate, four, not litigate. Three, two, one, out. Susan Rath and Bob Halloran with the news. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bob Halloran. And I'm Susan Raff. Topping News 58 tonight, a natural gas leak explodes in South Yarmouth. Three colonial gas employees are injured and several area businesses evacuated. Yarmouth police and fire officials learned just before 10 o'clock this morning that a bulldozer working on White's Path in South Yarmouth had severed a 10-inch gas transmission main. The Lawrence Lynch Corporation was continuing its construction project on White's Path when the leak occurred. Then, at about 12.30, the leak turned into an explosion. Bit of a strange weekend in both weather and sports. The Red Sox won two out of three at Oakland, but they're still playing badly. And we had some hailstorms late Saturday afternoon. Let's find out more from meteorologists Ron Anderson and A.J. Dolan. Ron, we're getting another week off to a good start. That's right. It, what, what else can we say about this great spring? One beautiful day after the other, except there are some changes coming our way, just like what happened on Saturday with some areas seeing some thunderstorm activity. We might have a chance at that again tomorrow, and I'll tell you about that later. As for the high temperatures today, just like summertime. 
And actually, this is what can happen in the spring. With a nice southwest wind, the Cape had some natural air conditioning temperatures in the 70s while near in Boston. It was very close to 90 degrees today. So hot stuff in weather, and uh, what about the Lakers? They're not so hot. No, and out in California, too. Can you believe it? Yeah, right. yeah the Lakers are about to see their season come to an end. They've lost two straight games at home, and uh, thank you, Michael Jordan. He is the guy who's doing the damage, and as uh, amazing as it seems, the Bulls are just one win away from their first NBA championship. We'll also talk about the Boston Red Sox. Their tough times continue out on the West Coast. So, Bob, I think two out of three from Oakland isn't bad. If they can do that against Seattle, they will have salvaged something. We'll take it. Thanks, AJ. Five, four, opens in one. Three, roll one. one. Take the off air. Sound in, fade up. This is a News 58 update with Bob Halloran. Oh, Bob's mic dissolved camera one. As the war stand continues, by to squeeze the Bob down, down to effect. Stand, stand by, Senator Kennedy. Kennedy. Stand by if it's too live. Audio. Back home, Senator Edward Kennedy met with some concerned family members at the Otis Air National Guard squeeze. base tonight, and the senator is kind enough Open to Kennedy's join us mic. now live. Good evening, Senator. Good evening. What is the overall mood of the stand families whose loved ones are in the Gulf? Well, uh, first of all, take I FS2? think uh, all Americans okay, live a fonts. very what is great that? sense of pride in the professionalism and the bravery, the courage, uh, and the ability of uh, Super. the American uh, service men and women. Uh, in the Gulf Lose tonight. It. All Americans are enormously impressed uh, with right, uh, what name. they have Super. been able to achieve, and all of us hope for an early conclusion of Lose the war. It. I think as we by live effects, on, uh, their achievements... You can get the uh, uh, Otis Air Force live about. again. For the game, they were fitting him for his uniform, so he's just literally jumping upon the scene. Made that flight from Missouri. It's from Lynchburg, Missouri, which is about three hours outside of St. Louis. He was an All-State player back in Missouri in 1989. He is not drafted. Runners hold, and the pitch is thrown down to third base, and he is out at third. Oh, how about that? There's some courage right there for Mirabelli. They tried to pick, pick a runner off in the last inning. Came back to haunt them as the throw got by Andy Small, and the run came in to score. Here's a look at it on the pitch. Nice pitch to work with. Mirabelli with a strike down to Andy Small. And uh, that's a nice job. Maybe they won't be getting off that third base uh, as much as they have been in this game. So Maribelli keeping them honest and cutting down perhaps a big run. There's a bunt down by Sweeney. It'll be played by Mirabelli, who throws on to first, and he's safe. Uh, bunt single for Mark Sweeney, putting runners on first and 